Hi, I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. We'll catch up with Kristen a little later in the show in her garden. The Louisiana oyster and shrimp industries together inject more than $1.6 billion a year into the state's economy and keeps nearly 20,000 people employed. That's according to the Louisiana Seafood Promotion and Marketing Board. Because both are so important to Louisiana economically and culturally, Governor John Bell Edwards went out on a boat to get a working understanding of these industries. With a flock of seagulls for an audience, Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards learns that shrimping ain't easy. Aboard Le Bon Papa, Governor Edwards gets lessons in how to shovel the catch off the deck, remove the fish from the shrimp, and how to sort shrimp. It's hard work, but something Edwards says he wanted to do. This is important to our economy, it's important to tourism, it's important uh, to our culture and our way of life. And so to be able to spend a day down here, uh, just a, a special day for me, and I will tell you, very rewarding. Prior to going out on a shrimp boat, Governor Edwards spent time at Motivated Seafoods in Homa to meet with those involved in the oyster industry. Fourth generation oyster grower John Tesvich is chairman of the Oyster Task Force. He's concerned about proposed diversions from the Mississippi River into Barataria Bay and Breton Sound. He says the combination of freshwater and silt intended to rebuild the coast would kill oysters. We're talking about, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars of impact annually on what one diversion and uh, so if you if you put a diversion on each side of the river you're talking about you know a, a couple of hundred million dollars a year just in oyster damages jack modise is the secretary of wildlife and fisheries he says there's a good reason why governor edwards is taking so many notes i know the governor he's gonna uh, instruct us to look at uh, what are things that we can do to to either soften the blow or or, or help the industry to to not only stay where they're at, but allow them to grow uh, in the process. It's a tough situation because we have simply got to restore our coast. We have to create more protection from hurricanes and, and, and other storms. Um, and when we do that, uh, there's going to be some disruption visited upon people. We need to try to minimize that, fully mitigate it if possible, if not minimize it. Uh, and so we have to have a plan going forward. Back out on the shrimp boat south of Cocodry, Governor Edwards shares a few moments with Wildlife and Fisheries Commissioner Jerry Smitko and her granddaughter. Smitko imparts to the governor just how much commercial fishermen have in common with farmers and ranchers. Commercial fishermen work hard to make a living. They face a lot of adversity, whether it's the, the weather or, or the tides or the hurricanes and the price, uh, equipment breakdowns but they're resilient people, they're giving people, um, and I, I think the greatest aspect of the industry are the people that make it up. And after a full day of hard work, Governor Edwards is ready to take what he's learned back to Baton Rouge, along with little Anya. I guess my favorite thing is I'm bringing a, a bag of shrimp home, <laughs> and I'm, look, I'm looking forward to eating those shrimp. Obviously, those oyster farmers and fishermen are really concerned about proposed projects to divert fresh water from the Mississippi River. In the coming months, Twyla will bring you a special edition of the show focused on the Mississippi River, the people who depend upon it, and the research underway right now to use the river to build up the state's coast.